Hello folks, uh, we are going to do a deep dive on quant. I mean, we were, um, Hashwin and I we were thinking about what we will call this. It is not prescriptive, it is not analytical, it is not uh, uh, one, two, three things as advice and takeaways. Uh, but uh, we wanted to have a, a, a thought process about what cat entails and how should we think about cat quant. What are the, especially uh, when we are figuring out what priority order to prepare the subtopics in, which ones to focus on, which ones to focus less on, how should I think about cat quant in the last last mile. And so, first of all, I found I find a lot of things where people say focus on arithmetic, focus on algebra, focus on geometry, focus on modern math, all of that. And so, I put some kind of classification here. And so, percentages, speed time descent, pipe system, profit and loss mixtures, averages, ratios, these are all classic arithmetic questions. And I would put topics like exponents and logarithms in here. But I see quite a few people saying exponents and logarithms, lots of x, y will come, put under geometry. Right. So, we created like a Venn diagram, the intersection between you know, arithmetic and this, this geometry module, maybe mensuration come here, simple substitute formula, compute it, get the answer. Intersection between algebra and geometry will be coordinate geometry and trigonometry because we deal with equations and we deal with uh, uh, x square plus y square something, or sin square theta plus cos square theta. So, therefore, we have put that in there. Right. So, very important to keep in mind that I am just trying to create a framework to think about these topics. So, if you list down all of these and, 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 and kind of look at this chart or picture or graph, I want you to think in terms of, okay, I get this, I am really comfortable with this, I really get functions, but I simply am not comfortable with geometry, but perversely, I am not comfortable with geometry, but I can nail coordinate geometry and trigonometry. I don't like it when they talk about uh, angle bisector theorem and tangent secant theorem. That doesn't speak to me. But if you say 2x minus 5y plus equal to 11, 5x plus 7y is 13, I can find the point of intersection without drawing the Cartesian plane because I get this. Very comfortable in the xy world, but not the diagram world. So, you have to see topics in some form and then list them down and then get to your comfort zones on, hey, what do I like, what do I not like? So, I've seen so many students uh, who are very comfortable in topics in a way that is counterintuitive to my own natural way of thinking. I really like this. I am very comfortable with this. I thoroughly enjoy this. I am not such a big fan of this. Right? So, I, so, I sometimes am surprised when people say X, Y, Z, I am jumping in. But if you tell me triangle has three sides, I do not want to check. I want to do. I do not want to do. And so, I want you to look at this and keep it as a starting point framework and say, hey, okay, this is how I need to think about all the topics in quant. I will put the topics in quant in each of these circles or outside or intersection or everything put together based on how I feel about this. And this is more a framework to think about the different topics in quant than one final answering point and say, this is the sequence you should do. This is, this is, you do this, you will get 92 percentile. I am simply not interested in prescribing that. I am going to prescribe. I right? am supposed to be one, one guy who is giving gyan and all right. So, I will prescribe, but that is not the focus of, of this video. Fine. So, uh, so I am not going to dive and say this is my recommendation at the end of it, but to create a framework to think about this. Right? The next framework is actually more my favorite framework. Right? So, whenever you are looking about thinking about topics, there is a level of difficulty for the topic. Right? We are marked it from easy to difficult and the frequency with which the questions appear in CAT here. And so, from low to high. And so, if you are thinking about this exam, you should think in both variables. How easy is it to grab marks from this topic? And how many questions come from this topic? And so, very relevant to have this here. And so, this box here is my favorite. Not that difficult and high frequent question. So, you simply have to attack this set. I would look at percentages, profit and loss ratio, proportion, averages, linear equations, mixtures, mensuration, pipes and cisterns, time speed. This box is my favorite. Right? I have not really mentioned inequalities because in my head, inequalities is little more tougher. Right? So, this classification, I must tell you, put up by a bunch of aspirants from 2IM. Right? So, I am not totally in agreement with where each of these topics go as far as the level of difficulty is concerned. Right? That's all right. Again, you have to say, what do I find difficult and put them in different places. Right? So, topics like uh, reminders, polynomials, modern math. To be honest, the, the polynomials and reminders are tough. They don't get tested much. Right? Reminders have not been tested for a long time. 
modern math sometimes gets tested uh, but it's, it's 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 a vast ocean so what do you call modern math we have to think about it again then after you do this part for yourself for your classification then you have to say look am i going for the easy topic which is fun but not too many questions or am i going and saying i'll do the slightly higher difficulty level because lots of questions come from there and then pick and choose your battles within this this is to be avoided definitely this is to be put in the bag then you gravitate here or here based on your style your preference even before that it is very important to list down topics like this and then say hey where am i where am i headed and one of the things that happened especially after cac 2023 was a ton of uh, commentary came saying look this this paper has become algebra heavy it's not arithmetic that is that is driving it it's algebra that's driving it right so i i kept looking at the paper over and over again it did all the solution because i have uh, committed to doing all video solution and i i simply didn't get it how preparing for algebra would have helped someone crack this exam that's because several of the algebra questions that kept appeared there were right here might have had algebra question was super difficult and so some of the questions that appeared with x's and y's in cat 2023 it is are nearly impossible to attempt in an exam context some of them are really tough even outside an exam context right so so the the the, the questions that were there you know absurdly tough right so this 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 one especially if you are very comfortable with plugging values you can guess the answer but the actual solving part super difficult selected one question from each slot the entire algebra section was difficult and so which is why you can't just look at the topics and say so many questions from algebra i'll jump into algebra you have to say look there are so many questions from algebra how easy is it to get my marks from algebra keep that as one part of the jigsaw and then say okay maybe algebra is not my source of marks and then come back here don't navigate to these two sections without putting this in the bag list down topics level of difficulty based on your comfort zone the two extremes are i really like visual stuff i don't like x and y i can do anything with x and y don't ask me to draw a circle and so the geometry versus algebra preference you have to figure out where you fall on that any which way arithmetic will fall here so gravitate towards arithmetic put that in the bag then go towards the rest I know it's not. I said it's not a prescriptive framework, but what? Where is the fun in that? And so, arithmetic is the mothership. And highest weightage of questions come from arithmetic. Sometimes it is 50 plus percent. Sometimes it's 35 percent. But in both cases, it's super relevant. Any which way, the arithmetic questions, on an average, tend to be easier than algebra or geometry. Typically, therefore, you should say, look, I'm going to on on frequency, density of question, the weightage given. and on level of difficulty it's in the sweet spot put that in the bag after that whether it's algebra or geometry based on how you feel about it right so whether you think about x y inequalities functions quadratic equations as a sweet spot or circles quadrilaterals polygons trigonometry mensuration as a sweet spot figure that out again you have to think about am i thinking about coordinate geometry as x and y or diagram am i thinking about trigonometry as equation solving or heights and distances where does that that fall exponents and logarithm is it a comfortable joyous easy topic for me or do i simply shut down when i talk about log 10 to the base x that stuff you have to still think about and so keep that in mind so you should gravitate towards algebra or geometry based on what your comfort level is then uh, as i said this is a deep dive it's, it's we, we, we've been thinking about quant for a long time teaching and then and then and solving so this is solving joy and solving kick and figuring things out but from an exam point of view as we've been saying over and over and over again picking your battles is as important as nailing them if if, if anything is far more important and to so knowing which questions to attempt which topics to prepare for which ones to dump which ones to skip immediately how to prioritize in a paper how to prioritize in preparation that is a very 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 crucial element of getting geared for this exam and so and for that we need to have some frameworks what is arithmetic what is algebra what is geometry how do i think about this that's one thing how comfortable am i with each topic that is another thing based on the frequency my comfort and level of difficulty what is my sequence of preparation what is my sequence of attending in mock arrive at that i cannot prescribe and say look attend profit and loss percentages same simple interest then inequality then quadratic then circles for everyone It doesn't work like that but you have to spend some time thinking and saying okay this is my preferred hitting zone i'm going to plan with this in mind for my preparation and execute that in the actual case. 
and use hopefully this is useful any comments feedback thoughts queries questions please put them in comments best wishes okay